how has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Um, I, I think it's gone well. Um, we've had, uh, uh, unfortunately, we only had two weeks to prepare, but um, we managed to fit in uh, two extra sessions to our standard training uh, week. So, so to an extent, it's been good. What are you expecting from today's opponents? Um, but a highly disciplined and organised side. What piece, what piece of advice or message will you give to your players ahead of kickoff? Uh, it's a fairly straightforward message, which is, um, you know, focus on uh, the goal, uh, which is to win, and uh, certainly keep the discipline, and uh, hopefully that should, we should be okay. And how significant is it for your club to have reached the Birmingham Community Shield final? Uh, really significant because uh, uh, it, it's almost become a bridge too far because uh, this is the third year in a row we're in the final. So uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a make or break, <laughs> this final. How has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Um, we're extremely well. Uh, the boys are well prepared, well drilled. They know what to do um, and they've got the instructions, so we're just ready to go. What are you expecting from today's opponent? Well, we, we've got to know our opponents quite well. We've played them three times already this, this season. Um, so we, we know that they've got a lot of experience throughout the team, but we know they've got some old legs as well, so we're going to try and run them down as much as we can. What piece of advice or message will you give to your players ahead of kickoff? Just keep doing what they've been doing all season. Um, we've we've won both leagues, the senior team and then the youth team have won their two leagues as well. So whatever whatever the boys are doing, they're doing it right, and they're doing it good, and they're doing it at a high standard as well. So just keep doing what they're doing, and and just don't let them breathe. How significant is it for your club to have reached this final? It's massive. It's absolutely massive. Um, <coughs> You know, from where we started to last se last season, where it was difficult for us to even win a game. Um, you know, and then the boys have have really turned around this season. And like I said, they've they've, they've won everything that's that's coming the path. And this is just the last thing, that the last hurdle that they're gonna that they're gonna take now. And and hopefully we can we can get the job done.
Talk us through the game from a real Aston player's point of view. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Nigel, obviously. Um, I think they played well as a team, as a unit. Um, but I think where it went wrong for us was just in the first 20 minutes when we had that, um, that handball decision, which wasn't given our way. Obviously, being the last man, um, he should have been sent off and he was only given a yellow card. And I think that kind of brought the boys' confidence down. So they kind of slowed up our play and I think we just got killed from there. So, like I said, I, I think it's, after that, they just worked hard, Niger, and they, they, were, they were the best team out there today. And how will you remember this cup run as, obviously, it's the first time you've reached the Birmingham Community yeah. Shield final? Obviously, we've had, a, we've had a great season as a team. I think we've won four leagues. We've made the finals for the first time. And... Um, I just think we was unlucky today with that decision. I think if we, we never, if we, if we got that decision as a red card, the game maybe would have went our way and we could have put up a better performance. I mean, we had all our fans here and everything. It is a bit upsetting, but maybe we'll go for it again next year and see how it goes. Firstly, commiserations. Where did it go wrong for your side today? Uh, firstly, congratulations to Niger. Um, and I want to thank the fans as well that came out all this way to support us. Um, I thought the first 20 minutes, fairly even, it could have gone either way, um, but we had a, a, a red card and after that it became quite difficult for us on this pitch and I think that really changed the game for us. You alluded to the red card, do you think that was the difference between the two sides today? No, I, I do think that Niger played better football, um, they were more composed, they were better than us on the day. Um, and like I said, for us guys, it is our first time at the finals, so I think nerves might have affected our performance a little bit. Um, but yeah. And lastly, how will you look back on this cup run? Obviously, as you mentioned, it's special that it's the first time you've reached a final and you've ended by playing here at St Andrews. How will you remember it? Oh, it's uh, it's massive. I remember when I just walked in, just through, through the stairs, uh, and when I looked at the stadium, I thought, wow, um, absolutely amazing uh, we've never played at a stadium at this level before um, I think for me today was more about giving the guys the experience to play at this level um, and, and that's what they've done I think if we make to uh, make it to another final then obviously we'll try a little bit harder to win it maybe after previous years of heartbreak describe your current emotions after lifting the Birmingham Community Shield oh wow well, it's, it's ecstatic it's, 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 it was it was speechless Emotional, quite emotional because we've gone for it for twice, twice in a row, and um, lost some penalties, lost penalties which was a bit ash on us, but we're so happy. Mm, relieved. Can see the boys, the pressure is on, on us, as, so we just, have to, we just have to do it, and thank God we did it. What was the difference between your side and real Aston today? <laughs> uh, I think they underestimated us because they know we haven't beat them this season, and they come out thinking the game was already won got that early red card, we come out of hunger, fight, I just don't think that they were up for the fight today. Yeah, I, th I think the thing is, uh, the, we wanted more, they, I wouldn't say they relaxed, but we, the passion that we, we, mm. we put in was just 100% because they, we've, we've let them twice, they won us twice and um, we had a draw, so we were just up for it this time around and the unity that we had in the team, the purpose was to win it and yeah. thank God we did it. Third time's the charm, isn't it? And how are you going to celebrate this victory? Well, just, uh, just, uh, just normal with ourselves, family and friends. Well, they've got more crowd than us, so they think they're going to do it, but um, we're just happy that we did it anyway. 
After heartbreak in the last two finals, describe your emotions after winning the Birmingham Community Shield. Well, uh, I can't really describe my emotions because I'm numb at this point. Uh, it was almost becoming a bridge too far and uh, yesterday I had a sleep last night, you know, because I, I just couldn't go back up that hill. You know, I didn't know how I was going to do it because it's been a tough uh, journey getting to this final. And, you know, we just needed to win and the boys prepared hard. After a 7-1 victory, obviously everyone's going to focus on the attack and display. But how mm. impressed were you with the all-round performance from Niger? Oh, man, the boys, uh, they, uh, they even exceeded my expectations because... Uh, training we focused uh, uh, on defense you know because uh, I know we, we've got so much uh, flair up, up top and uh, we'll score goals every time you know we'll always score three three plus goals you know but uh, I knew uh, that we needed to really make sure that we're tight at the back and that the midfield were really helping to drive that attack you know so, so you know um, I was really impressed with your all-round performance of the team. And how significant is this victory for your club? Well, it, it, it's, uh, it's a major milestone for us because uh, obviously you can see where we are. We, we've come here three times where we've gone back without anything. And, uh, you know, we, we really needed to put it on the table and say, yes, we've won it. And, uh, you know, it, it, it goes uh, uh, on the record that, yes, we won it. Uh, and to be fair, we won it in style.